Hi guys, it's Sharon Hartley from My Keto Journey. Welcome. I have been doing the one meal a day fasting for over one month. I have hit the end of the month and now I'm going to reveal how much weight I have lost in a month. So basically, I was eating a lot of salads, a lot of meats, a lot of other cheesy biscuits that I made the other day, um, drinking water and my electrolytes drinks, lots of coffee to get me through, bone broth, uh, things like that. No snacking, which is good because I used to be an emotional eater. So I try and stay away from the snacking because it can trigger my old habits. We're out in my yard. I live in the woods. We live on a seven acre property rental. Um, so it's not ours, but isn't it beautiful? Today I've had rather a busy, busy day, been to Sam's and been to Food Line and just running around cleaning my house and uh, my husband and I have been working on a project as well so that's been taking up a lot of my time and just getting in the ex exercise is good I'm actually going to go for a walk soon with my little doggy I have a little Havanese um, if you are watching from YouTube and you would like to join my keto journey please go to my banner on my banner there is a facebook tab and if you click that facebook tab it will bring you to my keto journey we are a small community of 860 members we're there to support encourage and motivate you we have tips and tricks for the ketogenic lifestyle and we also have seven day meal plans that are absolutely free that I put out every Friday. It just makes it so much easier for people who are low on time or just don't know what the ketogenic way of life is and what they need to eat. So it just makes it a whole lot easier. Also, I count the macros and the carbs and everything protein that's in the meals too so I just make it simple and easy and that's what that's what I do um, kind of like a keto coach but free of charge so if you need any help feel free to join the group and um, we're more than happy to help you and it and it's great to have you with us if you are tuning in live if you'd like to say hello I see we have one viewer um, if you are watching on the replay please press replay if you are save replay and uh, now we have two watches hi guys i hope that you're having a beautiful gosh is it monday monday yes sometimes i forget what day it is seriously um so okay the results are in for the one meal a day fasting da -da -da -da. drum roll please i have lost in a month 16 pounds and that is the most that I have ever lost in the heart in the whole entire time that I've been doing keto. I've been doing keto. I'm going on my fifteenth month now. I'm a slower, a slower um, loser <laughs> with weight because I suffer from RA. I have an autoimmune disease. I'm borderline hypothyroidism. Um, and I have polycystic ovary syndrome. So, you know, a lot of things, a lot of things that have slowed me down. I was recently, gosh, going back four months ago, I was in a horrible stall for three months. Um, that's probably, um, but then I moved to North Carolina because I married my sweetheart. So here I am in America, loving, loving the Southern life. Sorry, we got disconnected. So much energy. I just felt so great. So the other goal that oh, I want to share with you. Drum roll. Da -da -da -da, 80 pounds. <laughs> I hit 80 pounds finally. Goodbye 70. And I'm roughly, I think, 223. So the 223s, I'm getting down. I'm so excited. I never thought that I would hit 80 
Uh, it's kind of like, you know, with the slow progress, it's like, will I ever hit 80? I see a lot of people hitting their 100 pound mark in a year. And I'm like, I gotta get there. So the other thing is, um, I want to share with you, I am going to be doing a 30 day bacon fast, a fat fast. And you're welcome to join me. I have put the meal plans up in the group in the PDF files. Uh, go check that out. It is a grocery list of what you need, what you need to eat in 30 days. Now, it is actually a week challenge, a uh, one-week challenge with Dan Quillbill um, from the Baking Experiment. He had done a 30-day challenge, and he he has lost 90 pounds over several years. So, way to go. Excellent. Um, and I just thought, you know, I need something like that just not to speed things up because everyone's different and, and I'm happy to go slower, but oh my gosh, the pollen is so bad out here. Um, but yeah, I just, yeah, I want to try it. So yeah, I might be the baking girl on uh, YouTube. I know a few people have done it. A few people have gotten past the 30 days I'll show you how I make my bacon because there's a way to make it um, unbelievable but um, Dan had actually shown in his group how he makes the bacon so I'm going to pass that on and I'm going to be accountable for the 30 days I'm going to show you the bacon that I'm eating tell you how I'm feeling how it's all working out for me and I really hope that you guys on YouTube land will <laughs> join me and my Facebook group my keto journey will join me if you have high cholesterol or blood pressure issues it's probably not the best thing to do uh, you can also have like salmon and chicken and and things like that oh my gosh the pollen is horrible it living in the woods it's just like all all everywhere <laughs> Anyway, like I said, if you have um, health conditions with your heart, it's probably not the best thing for you. Um, if you like eating bacon and you're worried about all that salt, get lower salt, get low sodium. Uh, we do need the sodium because we need up to 4,000 milligrams of sodium in a day for our, le our electrolytes. Um, so, yeah. There's also um, a way of cooking your bacon because we want to cook those nitrates out, which are bad um, for us. So cooking it at a high temperature, 370 degrees felt, uh, Fahrenheit. I'll find out what that is in Celsius and I'll let you know because we do have a lot of people from countries that use Celsius. I will be putting up um, meal times when you should eat your bacon. When's the best time you should eat your bacon for good, good weight loss? Uh, also, you'll be drinking apple cider vinegar. Make sure that you get the mother, the unfiltered kind, the organic. I use Bragg's. I'll be more than happy to show you that on uh, another video. Um, so basically it's just practically all meat, no dairy, just pretty much all meat and no dairy and the apple cider vinegar every day that burns fat. So let's do this. I hope that you have enjoyed seeing my updates on one meal a day and I may do it again. Who knows? I may do it again because I felt so great and had such great results. Um, for those of you who did do the one meal a day congratulations way to go I was so happy to have you with me and cheering me on it's so great to have that support I really appreciate it so I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your Monday it's kind of starting to cool down here in North Carolina where I'm at um, so I'm enjoying the fresh air because it's been hot all day and it's actually going to be 90 on the weekend so time to time to get out the bathing suit maybe and go swimming or uh you know get out in the boat maybe i don't know no we're kind of working on that that's our little project we're cleaning it up um but yeah it's and it's also been kind of a, a rough month as well um some things had happened in our family and uh you know it was a real big hit um 
so yeah it was really big hit financially too uh, um i can't really go into details but yeah it hurt we got burnt with something so yeah i was like glad and happy that i didn't go back to emotional eating or depressed about it you know what's happened has happened so just let it go but there are some bad people in this world you've got to be very careful of who you trust um but it was a, it's a lesson learned so you know we all make mistakes we're all human but um so yeah it's been a great month for losing weight but not such a, a great month like just all round really um so yeah okay <laughs> don't want to be a downer <laughs> all right so have a great monday and i'll see you around kiddo on and don't forget to like and subscribe i appreciate it love yous bye